Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to do question 3b to determine whether the infinite series summation of minus 1 power n plus 1 over n power 3 plus 3 is convergent. For this, because of the minus 1 power n plus 1, it appears that the terms are alternating. So, we are going to use alternating series test to help us to test. For this, we look at the statement of alternating series. Okay, so let's look at the statement of alternating series. It says that if a n equal to minus 1 power n plus 1 times b n, where b n is a decreasing now sequence with positive terms, then the infinite series summation of an, which is alternating series now, is convergent. Now to test that bn is decreasing, sometimes it's easier to test 1 over bn is increasing. So let's look at the working. So our question is, using alternating test, which is what I just explained, you can also find it in the text to show that the infinite series summation of minus 1 power n plus 1 over n cubed plus 3 is convergent or divergent. We want to show that it's convergent now using the alternating test. Uh, why we use alternating test is because of the minus 1 power n plus 1 appear. Now, so in this case, our a n is minus 1 power n plus 1 times n cubed plus 3 over n cubed plus 3 which is minus 1 power n plus 1 times bn. And what is bn now? bn is just 1 over n cubed plus 3 is our bn. Notice that bn is greater than equal to 0. It's very obvious. And bn is now sequence because limit of bn is equal to 0. You test that 1 over n cubed plus 3 as n goes to infinity to 0. And also bn is decreasing. Why is bn is decreasing? Because as I say, one easy way to show Bn is decreasing is 1 over Bn, which is n cubed plus 3, is increasing with n. Therefore, by the alternating test, the infinite series summation of minus 1 power n plus 1 over n cubed plus 3 converge. And for this, we have finished answering question already. However, there is another way to do this. It's by what we call the absolute, absolute convergent test, which says if the summation of absolute value of an converge, then summation of an converge. We do this especially when if the terms can be positive or negative and not necessarily alternating, especially. Okay, and this can this can be found in the text page 104. So let's look at this summation of absolute value a n now. We find that this is equal to summation of 1 over n cubed plus 3. Once we apply the absolute value to the terms, but 1 over n cubed plus 3 is less than or equal to 1 over n cubed. And we know that summation of 1 over n cubed is a basic convergent P series. Therefore, if you apply the comparison test, which says that if a n is less than or equal to b n, now all the terms are positive, and summation of b n, the larger term is convergent, then the smaller term will also convergent. Therefore, in our earlier slide, okay, the larger term is 1 over n cubed is summation of 1 over n cubed convergent and therefore by apply the compar comparison test summation of 1 over n cubed plus 3 is convergent this is by comparison test and then by absolute convergent test we have because when you take absolute value you have this 1 over n cubed plus 3 so by absolute convergent test now Origin, original series converge. And this is by the absolute convergent test. 
any method, whether you use an alternating test, I think which is more natural, and you can also use the absolute convergent test. This is the end of recording. Thank you.